Good day to you. Pastor John here. John H.B. and I are going to be sharing with you some brief devotionals from the Gospel of John. Someone suggested that this be called John and John on John. We'll leave that up to you. But I want to read to you from the first chapter of the Gospel of John. And we'll be moving all the way through the Gospel of John over these next weeks. This, no doubt, the calling of the first disciples is familiar to you. The first chapter of John, beginning with verse 35, I'm reading from the New International Version. The next day, John was there again with two of his disciples, John the Baptist, when he saw Jesus passing by and he said, Look, the Lamb of God, the second time he's said that. When the two disciples heard this, they followed Jesus. So they no longer follow John the Baptist, but Jesus. When they two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them and asked, What do you want? And they said, Rabbi, which means they are understanding who he is, or at least beginning to, because of what John has said, because he's no formal rabbi. They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? And Jesus says, Come and you will see. Uh, that's a slight bit humorous. It's lost on us a little bit, but essentially it's, it's a strong invitation. Come and be with me and you'll find out where I'm staying because you're going to be staying with me. So they went and they saw where he was staying and they spent the day with him and it was about the 10th hour, late in the afternoon. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said that he is the Lamb of God and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is the Christ, and he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will now be called Cephas, which when translated is rock or Peter. Jesus changes Simon's name right there in the very beginning before he even knows much about him. He is the Lord, however, so he knows a lot about him. Peter, the rock. You know he becomes an influential and strong leader in the early church. In fact, there are two letters in the New Testament attributed to him. You know them as Rocky I and Rocky II. I guess that constitutes a dad joke. You know that a new name in the scripture brings a new purpose. We see it so many times throughout the Old and the New Testament. Abram's name is changed to Abraham. Jacob's name is changed to Israel. Saul's name is changed to Paul. And it always represents a new purpose. And so Jesus changes Simon's name. He knows what he will become. Now, no doubt, he also knows that he will betray Jesus at one point but he knows what he's capable of. He wants to follow Jesus because he has an open heart and an open mind. And that's what it means partly in becoming a disciple and being used by God for his purposes, to have an open heart and an open mind. In the early years of the church, there was a christening along with baptism. We don't do that in our tradition and sometimes people confuse baptism and christening. But christening was when a baptized believer would receive their new name. But we don't really do that in our tradition anymore. But we do receive a new name when we become a professing Christian. We go by that very name, right? Christian. We take on the name of our Savior, of our Lord, we are representing him. We've made a promise and a vow. Yes, Jesus is the savior of my life, but he's also my Lord. I am following him. And it's so very crucial for us to have an open heart and an open mind. And that's what I want to challenge you to do. Sometimes we already have our minds made up. Sometimes our hearts are already closed. And so we can't really be moved to what it is that God may be calling us to do. Again, think of Peter. Remember when Jesus said, let us go to Jerusalem that I may die. And so boldly, and it's a, a beautiful display of affection and love that he has for Jesus. Peter says, never. And then Jesus says, get behind me, Satan. And then, of course, 
Peter repents of that. But his heart, his mind, was open so that Jesus could reveal himself fully and completely. And so today, have an open heart, an open mind as you pray to receive from the Lord whatever it is that he may be asking you to do or wherever it is that he may be asking you to go. Have a wonderful day.